Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercut. This is episode number 98 of season 4. And we're going to start off with the Team Road to Glory progress. What have we done? What have we gotten? Um, we've got one day and 21 hours left in the Money in the Bank cycle. So I'll have a quick talk about that as well. But Bobby Lashley has done um, all the cards in the Team Road to Glory right here for you guys. Uh, the theme for this Team Road to Glory was TNA Superstar, which was pretty cool, um, if I say so myself. Uh, of course, Xavier Woods was in the X Division for a long time. Bobby Roode, of course, uh, you know, were their longest reigning um, TNA champion, I believe. Uh, Ken Tramrock, I don't remember him being in TNA, but I, I found out that he was, of course, in the early, early days. Um, before I was even watching it, Jeff Hardy of course was in it, Our truth again, like Ken Shamrock was in it in the early days, like 2002, 2003, uh, years like that I believe. Samoa Joe of course, a big veteran in it. Uh, Brian Kendrick had a short um, run in uh, TNA, well he had two runs I believe in TNA again in the X Division. Bukati, part of one of my favourite factions of all time, the main event Mafia. And then of course Bobby Lashley, um, who joined WWE from TNA. So let's go ahead and claim this Bobby Lashley card. Pretty cool. Um, he's actually really decent in the tier, so it's uh, it's a good card. Um, they've given him out fairly early, so I'll definitely take that. And he is now my uh, eighth Goliath uh, single. Um, of course, debut card, so only one image. That makes him... So Bobby Lashley, Cassius Ono, Nick Miller and Drew Gulak. I believe only Shane Thorne and the Shayna Baszler as well in the tier. I believe they're the only ones who've got new cards in the game in Goliath tier. And I've already gotten four out of the six. So pretty crazy. Um, happy with Bobby Lashley. Loving him up. See where he uh, ranks with the other guys. Um, Money in the Bank, of course. In one day and 21 hours. Um, and of course... That makes it uh, on Thursday evening, so of course the first day of our deal will be done by then and we'll be cashing in on one of the pros. I've currently got 44,800, so I need to get myself another 800 contracts in Money Bank uh, if they are of course to remain the same price as they are now for myself uh, to get the first pro, which will be very, very helpful, King of the Ring wise. Uh, get myself hopefully into plus plus if I have some uh, like four or five momentum slots I think. Um, so no matter what, and no, I'll have Vader uh, hopefully like the day after that anyway, so it won't matter if it put me into plus plus or not, I believe it is two pros, so Vader and um, whoever is in the money bank, hopefully it's someone that tanks with Vader, of course Vader is a down arrow, so if there is an up arrow in the money bank I'll probably go for the up arrow, unless it's like a wrestler I really really like. And I'll go for him instead. I don't think there'll be a female in this money bank cycle, uh, but who knows. So there you go, there you guys go. I will um, segue in this video, guys. I'm working tomorrow, so tomorrow evening, of course, I'll bring us back, I think, for some RD preview. Not that there's anything to show normally in the RD preview, um, but we'll still come back RD preview, or in 24 hours time, actually. In 24 hours time, we'll have a plan and back, so that will be perfect. That will be perfect. I will add a clip at the... Excuse me, I'll add a clip at the either at the very end of this video or um, between this segment and the segue that we're about to do of the last battleground. I went ahead and claimed the rewards from it because I was just at work and I was like, I just want to claim these rewards, I just want to do it. Of course I didn't get a Goliath card in it, so it's not like it mattered too much. I uh, got myself three WrestleMania 34s, so I'll show you guys that clip. Um, now, I think, if I remember, or maybe at the end of the video, but it was... Uh, it was a tough one, guys. It was the closest background we have had in a very, very long time. Um, and undoubtedly, the, the, the closest one we've had in Season 4. Um, 14,798 to 14,684. So we just got 100 more points than them. But uh, it was it was touch and go for a while. Absolutely touch and go for a while. Um, two attacks wasted uh, from my team, unfortunately, due to an error in the battle plan. Silly mistake, but uh, yeah, it happens. So we weren't able to get the 15,000, so that's why we thought for a sec it was uh, it might be a loss, but thank God, just like us, they also wasted an attack, and they must have like lost or something somewhere there, because um, with one attack remaining, they wouldn't have got the 15,000, so something must have gone wrong there. Um, and of course, the two attacks we were missing was 101 each, 
which would have then taken us to the 15,000. So yeah, there you go. It was a very close battleground, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching the first part of this video, guys. Hopefully, I'll have uh, a tier pull for you guys in the second part, alongside the preview for the ring domination, for the pro Vader, and a platinum pack. If we win it, of course. Thanks for watching, guys. Do drop a like, hit the notification bell, so you guys get notified every time I upload. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you're new around here, guys. Thank you for the support recently. Really do appreciate it. Of course, new tier. So uh, love you guys. I've been I've been checking out the videos. It means a lot. Take care, guys. See you in just a bit. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the episode. And it's time, as I promised, guys. We got a platinum pack. Um, it was close. It was a very very close background, as you can see, fifteen thousand. To 14,903. Closest one yet. Uh, big shout out to, of course, um, Lex, who got it done for us. Thank God, if not for him, we would have lost. Um, yeah, it was it was, it was was an intense battleground. Let's hope we get a Goliath in it. On Discord with the boys, D2, Flame, Captain, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's get this pack opened. <laughs> I'm sorry, so I'm just kidding. Yeah, we've got, we've got Swifty in here as well. Alright. Alright, come on. Give me, give me a Goliath. Give me a Goliath. <sighs> so anticlimactic. What was that boss? I don't know, some weird kind of screech. We got, <laughs> we got Miz, we got Shane O'Mac. And Bobby, wow, if that's not one terrible platinum pack, I don't know what is. What do you get? You got what? Cedric Flame, Rick Flair, 34, mm. and uh, Kalisto Titan, I think. So pretty trash all around for the both of us. Apparently a new card discovered there. Um, had to be Bobby Fish, I think. Yeah, it had to be. I've already gotten... Yeah, it had to be Bobby Fish. Alright, well, that's pretty much it, guys. Boring. Absolutely boring platinum pack. I'm over 3, I think, now. Um, quick quick look at the preview for the RD, uh, obviously different uh, graphics and stuff, they've revamped everything during the Goliath update, so we'll see how it plays out tomorrow. I'll be live streaming tomorrow as soon as Ring Domination starts, unless I am uh, called in for work, which I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure that's not going to happen, so should be another really long stream tomorrow guys, where we'll smash out at least the first RD. Thanks for watching guys, drop the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here, take care, peace out. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the episode of WWE Supercar. This is the third little segment we've got. Um, not too long of a video, so I'm going to quickly show you guys where we are in ring domination and explain to you guys why, if you're watching this um, when I upload it, why I haven't streamed um, most of the day. So let's get into the last game on Rhino, which, as some of you guys might know, as you can also see it on my last pull, um, yeah, Rhino was my last pull. He is the undercon in the normal ring domination, so that's going to be my first um, non-like event. Well, that's actually going to be my first bro event and anything, because I haven't even got Vader yet. So yeah, um, Rhino's going to be my first pro. I'll take it. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's a Goliath pro. I'm really happy with that. Vader, of course, will be our second Goliath pro. And then, guys, in about two hours, we've got the new cycle of Money in the Bank coming out. And you know me, I don't normally cash in on cards of Money in the Bank. It's not it's not a game mode I, I go for a lot. I do every now and again, but they're kind of rare, um, my Money in the Bank cash-ins. But we are going to be going for at least one of the two cards in this Money in the Bank cycle. Um, whoever tags with Rhino or Vader. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure Vader's an up arrow. He could be a down arrow, I'm not too sure, but... No matter what, it's going to be pretty decent. Um, by the end of today, I will have three Goliath pros. Well, no, well, okay, I'll have I'll have at least two, probably pro, and then of course we'll have the Vader pro, but we'll be going for the heroic one in the ring domination. So I probably won't be proing that today because I probably won't be getting the heroic. Um, now for the reason I've been streaming, guys, um, ever since last night, last evening, I was just playing some Fortnite with some with with mates and shit. And um, I get some uh, really sharp pain down my arm, um, and it kind of persisted all throughout the night. Wasn't really able to sleep, um, and I went to see a doctor, a chiropractor this morning. I just haven't been feeling up to it, just constant pain in my arm. I'm not too sure what it's from, probably something um, nerve-wise, something I've either like, that's, that's, that's his best assessment of me at least, he didn't really know what was wrong. 
Um, but yeah, it's still a bit painful. I just was like, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not up for a 12 hour stream. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna get on with some ring domination, which is what I did. I'm um, in front of some football, of course. I've just watched France get the 1 0 victory against Peru. Uh, do let me know, by the way, guys, down in the comments who you are rooting for in this World Cup. Because, um, of course, I'm rooting for France and they haven't had the best matches so far. But yeah, that's pretty much why I didn't stream. I will definitely be streaming this evening, guys, for a little bit. We'll have a nice little chill evening stream, but I didn't want to start it at 9 o'clock this morning. One, because that's, that's when my appointment was, and two, um, I just wasn't up for a long 12 to 16 hour stream like we do most Thursdays. So instead, we'll just do like a 3 4 hour stream this evening. I'm going to go and cash in on the money in the bank cards, all that good stuff. Um, we'll play the final card, the Vader, on this one. We'll unlock the heroic um, ring domination. We'll see where we can get on that and all that. So tune in, guys. Stream. I'm going to upload this video before my stream, of course, so you guys will get to see it. But before we go, um, you guys, just so I got Rhino there, I want to talk to you guys about some pulls, show you what pulls I've got in ring domination, because so far, ring domination has been absolutely amazing for pulls. Um, there you guys see the Rhino card, which will be in my first pro. Um, and I'm about to show you guys what um, what other cards I've pulled since the beginning of this ring domination um, And it's not just one card. It's two cards. We have pulled two and it gets better. Not even a support card two 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 pulls two early early pulls as a matter of fact So first one I believe was at 69 resets and the second one I believe was at 59 resets um, If I counted right shard wise cuz no sorry this 30 wait, I'm um, my math is terrible. Let me just 36 times 2, so 72. 72. Right, okay, it's 72. Um, so I got my. Let's let's let me show you. Let's let me show you now who I got, or at least start talking to you guys when I put it on the screen. So this was the first one I got. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Right there, as you guys can see, was my first pull. Um, got got this Kofi Kingston one shard, no sorry, no, no, it was two shards into um, the WrestleMania 34, which was Gold Dust. So two shards into Gold Dust, I put myself Kofi Kingston, I'm like, hells yeah, that's an early one. That was after, that was after 69, I believe. Um, and then about six shards in, shit, yeah, about six shards in, five shards in, um, to, no, sorry, not in, five shards left on the um, Goliath Rhino. I go ahead and pull myself, um, let's just get rid of, let me get rid of this image, which is, that's the Rhino. There we have Xavier, so I'm already going to get rid of, not Xavier, Kofi Kingston. And the pull I get, which it was literally about 5 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, and made pull number 2 of the day, which is not something often happens for me, 2 pulls in one day. Um, this one again was before 70 reset, so again a very nice early pull. Not a pro, not an amazing card, but it is still a pull nonetheless. And there we go, that will stay on my last reset as it was my last reset. Um, Aiden English, so not too bad at all. Uh, I'll take an Aiden English, you know, I'll take the Kofi Kingston. No females as of yet, which is what I'm a little bit annoyed about. I kind of would have wanted uh, one or two females by now. Um, obviously singles, I'm not, I'm not greedy, I'm not, I don't want, I'm not expecting Goliath female pros at this point, but definitely one or two singles would have been nice. Um, so, I did a lot of stupid things guys today, I was, uh, I'm no, no word of a lie, um, because of, I was, I made some stupid rash decisions, um, that I shouldn't have, and, uh, I bought some packs, um, and I didn't do them on camera, but that's besides, that's, yeah, it's besides points, neither here or there. I just want to show you guys the things I got. So I opened four packs total. Um, I got myself um, one manager, um, as you can see there, Paul Ellering, and I got myself one superstar in the four packs. The two other packs were trash. Um, don't even want to talk about it. I believe I got a Mark Henry in one of them, which was just, just absolutely brilliant. And in the other one, I believe it was Matt Hardy, um, so yeah, really not happy with that, but hey, I made some stupid decisions, did it, some stupid decisions, um, and the superstar we did get was Jeff Hardy, as you can see right here, um, so technically, my pulls, with one being from a pack, um, Jeff Hardy, Aiden English, Rhino from Ring Domination, 
and Kofi Kingston. So four new Goliath cards on the day and a two stat manager, Paul Ellering, which is actually pretty decent because it is compatible with my WrestleMania 34 manager, Miss Elizabeth, all the way over here. So there you go, not too bad. I think that was pretty decent. Um, not overall the packs, the packs were terrible, um, but still, could have been, could have been worse. That's our progress in ring domination, money in the bank, new cycle, it's coming out. I'm going to cash in for you guys, so stay tuned for that on the live stream. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, by the way, guys, as well for the support recently on the YouTube channel. It's been so nice to see you guys tuning into the videos and enjoying them. If you guys have enjoyed this one, please smash a like. Comment down below and subscribe if you're new around here. Take care guys, until I see you soon, peace out.